everybody. Good morning, friends. YouTube always doesn't like to um, let me be live with you at the same time. It's like... Oh, YouTube, you're so youtube -y. You're signed out. Why am I signed out? What the heck? I think you just kind of checked out at this point. <sighs> Mentally or emotionally speaking? You think? Probably. Okay. I am live with you. I see the vague semblance of something that says France. Um, and um, let's see. What do we got? Um, Sonia is here. Carl says hello. Hello, Sen Carl. Sene is here and says hello. Alec Rooster says Luke. Bonjour says Nugget. Nice. Um, yep, it is indeed. Stuff nerd says morning. Bethany's here and the ringers have been rung. Steve Harrington says, I'm early for once. Love your vids, Scott. Thank you very much. Um, and Sine says, I love his videos. Thank Black you. Black Phoenix is here and says, good morning. Hi. They do grow up too fast, don't they, Black Phoenix? Crazy. Our kiddos grow up too fast. Flavius says, yes, hello, everybody. <laughs> hello. All right, I think I got all the cameras Lillian set up. Said, chicken is actually a rooster. A Gallic, Gallic rooster. rooster. Yeah, from France. Battlebrooks is here and says, good morning, Scott and Donna. How are you? Um, Cerulean, OMG, I love the rooster. Matthew says, hey, bro. Hey. Um, Sonia loves your drawing. Thank you. Pastel Peach Edits says, hi, I'm currently sick with an ear infection. Also, good morning. Oh, I well, we hope you feel better soon. Black Phoenix wants to know how Arwen's doing. Guess what? She's doing surprisingly well. She lets me put her little, I have to put this plastic over her back foot. And she's doing really good though. She's was out walking around this morning, bandage and all. She's doing great. Thank you for asking. Gertie says hello and goodbye because I need sleep. Oh, well, have a good night's sleep. Um, Amelia says, such relaxing background music. What is it called? Oh, it is copyright-free jazz music on Spotify. There you go. Um, uh, Bylaw says, hi there. 15 Parsnips says, I'm here. Hello. Is that any relation to 99 Luke Balloons? 15 Parsnips? I don't know who's asking. Uh, Beekeeper says, as a French person, I really can't wait. Are you having a good day so far? So far, so good. Thank you. I missed... What? That line. <laughs> I hate it when I miss that line, don't you? I hate it when I miss that line. Um, so I got... Anim anime Edits also loves your videos. Thank you. I got my <laughs> post-shade box in yesterday so I could go and teach that class in okay. Italy. For those who don't know what that is, could you please explain what a post-shade box is? Uh, it's a visual thing, but essentially it's it's like an easel that hold I can up. open There's up. There's a picture on the front, you can see it. If you hold up the box, there's a little picture on the front, they can see it. This is a pochade box. And you put your painting there, and then you can put your paints down there. And it sits on top of an easel. I mean, it can sit on top of an easel. Um, oh, Water Plus Ink is here. It says good morning. Hello. Um, pastel Peach Edits has chicken. Um, don't look at my name. I love your work from Indonesia. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. You're fine. You're allowed to have whatever name you want. I don't have to read it out loud. Beagle fan, first live stream I have caught. I love the shorts. Have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Akira says, hi, I'm actually learning French. Oh. K loves to see your videos. Thank Anime you. says, best drawings ever. Thank you very Team much. Team Harrington, if it's 2 a.m., you need to go to bed. We'd love to see you, but you need to go to bed. Um, hello from near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, says Marcy. Hello. Sene says, I need to go study for a test, but I'll be back. Yes, please do that. We don't want to keep you from that. Uh, Bilal says, sup, painter, how was your day? Sup? Well, it's still the morning, so it's been okay so far. Yes. We're, we're freshly out of bed. Well, I'm freshly out of bed. I've been up for three hours or two and a half. You have not. Okay, I was was up at 5.45, but 5.30. Okay, here she gone. goes. So yes, then I you've done bed. everything more than me. I have. Yes. We all know that's true. 
Uh, Richard says, good morning, SBC. Hello, Richard. Um, Venmo, the animal today is a Gallic rooster. Gallic rooster. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, it's the electric eraser. Anime edits his best drawing. Scott, love your videos. Thank you very Merit much. Merit says, hello from the Netherlands. Hello. Weezy Laugh says, good morning. I'm currently crocheting a bag for a job. I'm trying to get at a pumpkin farm. Wish me luck. Oh, good luck. Oh, good luck. Is it a pumpkin bag? Oh, my God. You need to like show us that because that's really cool. Um, your relationship is so wholesome. You're so funny. Um, what is your favorite national animal this far? I really, really, really liked the manatee. Uh -uh. The manatee was so cute. Justin Bieber won me over. Donna likes Justin Bieber. I like Justin Bieber. Um, Evolution says, hey, just wanted to say that as an Italian person, I love the Italian wolf that you did. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I am half Italian. Let's see, where's Italy? Okay. There's so I'm half Italian and half so Assyrian. You're which Sicilian is and Assyrian. There you go. We'll forgive you. So these are yeah, those are two of my lineage. Let's see. Oh. All right. You're my inspiration. Oh, thank you. Hello from Greece. Wee wee baguette. It's a sin star. Yes, indeed. When we went to France the first time, Scott would eat baguettes um, fr fresh from the bakery, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, but who wouldn't? Hey, don't look at me. I had croissants all the time. You'd have a baguette, I'd have a croissant. So I look. I literally can just live off of bread. He, he really could. Um, Sammy M says, good morning, artists. Good morning. Who was your first inspiration, says anime fan base. Oh, that would be my mom. Um, hi from Canada. Hello. Oh, Kim has a meeting with a hotel supplier later this morning. Ooh, I hope you sell a million. Um, sell everything, sell them everything. I love all your stuff, it's amazing. Um, what's your opinion on fabric castle pencils? Oh, fabric castle pencils? Uh, I've only used them for sketching. pencil pencils, yeah, for sketching like, like this one. Um, I, I haven't used any of their colored pencils or anything, but yeah, I think they're wonderful. Toy Foxy Fazbear says, OMG, I'm French. Thank you so much for drawing our national animal. Oh, it is my pleasure. Oh, excuse me. Um, well, if you don't like something, you don't have to say in the chat that you hate it. You can just not say anything. That's always a good thing to do. Um, hello, good morning, but it's a good evening in India. Good That's evening. That's a real legend. Um, lots of people are saying that you are inspiring them. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, good evening from Vietnam. Greetings from Hungary. Hello from Greece. Hello from Indonesia. You're so skilled. Um, they love that you're so skilled. Your art inspires me. Also, hello from Turkey. Um, it's a Gallic rooster. That is the national animal of France. So uh, Donna is going to draw and cut out a... I am. Beret. I am. French beret. Are you sure about that? Where are my hats, by the uh -huh. way? Honey, where are my hats? Les poissons. Where are my hats? They're probably in the same chair that you always put them. Oh, okay. This drawing is looking fresh. LOL, random question. Are you guys breakfast people? Yeah, I love breakfast. <sighs> well, I can't eat breakfast because I'm allergic to eggs. So the answer is yes, I wish I was a breakfast person. I mean, I could have like pancakes or waffles as long as they don't have eggs in them, but they don't taste as good with, they're not made with the eggs. But I do make scones that don't have eggs in them. And those are good. They're Irish scones. Um, no, they're not. Aren't they? No, they're not. I'm pretty sure they are. No, Isn't the brand an Irish brand? No. Hi, Scott. I use some of your tips for drawing hair, and it's definitely one of my best watercolors. That's oh, Blue Iris. Thank you. Sweet says, hi, Scott. I've been watching your videos for a year and a half. I love your videos. It would really make my day even better. Um, please try to accomplish your dreams, Scott. Oh, thank you. 
Let's see, this drawing is looking nice. Hi from Hong Kong. Okay, I have now, you guys have said hi from countries from literally all over the globe. Yeah. That is so crazy. You guys are so close to 1 million. I know, isn't that insane? Really crazy. Hi from the UK. Hi, I'm from India. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I'm so excited. That's Oblige Moi. I completely butchered that probably. Um, Bonnie, hey Scott, I just wanted to hop in and mention that I was just studying about the French Revolution from a history lesson. Oh, that's so cool. Yep. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you, Rodline. Did you see they said? Um, yes, just to be a contrarian, you don't inspire me at all. Just kidding, your work is amazing. And thank you for sharing. <laughs> oh, so thank you. I love that. That's great. Um, let's see. Hi from Australia. The sketch looks super good. Greetings from Finland. I was just about um, to start drawing too. That's Sala. Daisy says good morning. Hi from Ottawa. The drawing looks nice. Izzy draws stuff. Says hi with just so many eyes hello um red devil design says hello from the u.s bonjour i'm from india but i understand french very cool um crack pepe says how are you doing and hello i'm doing good thank you and hello back i love your bracelets they look really nice hi from england greetings from hungary thank you i love your art how was your day Guys, it's morning for us, so we haven't even had a day yet. But <laughs> so far, so for, good. Yeah, the plan is for scones after the live, so that's automatically gonna make us have a good day. So, um, I love your rooster sketch. Good morning from Wisconsin. Thank you. The cheese curds date. Um, good morning. Love your art. Making some oatmeal. Says Daisy. We had oatmeal yesterday. Oh my god, I was waiting for the National Animal of France, P.S. in French, and I thought a rooster would be funny. That's Star Dynamite. Roosters are definitely funny. It, it, from what I read, it's almost like you guys picked the rooster because it made like a, a French pun. Mm -hmm. Okay, Eric is here and says, good morning everyone, and big hugs to Donna and Scott. Hi, Erica. Hey, Erica. How are you, friend? Love your art style from India. Thank you. I'm going to write my book while watching you live. You inspire me a lot in drawing. Oh, good. Bonjour. There's a lot of French people popping in. I love the um, French people. Jean says, we are the sweetest couple ever. Thank you. Um, you're very sweet. Oh my gosh. Um, oh my God, I've never been in a live. Ah, I love you. You inspire me so much. <sighs> Cheese Llama. Thank you, Cheese Llama. It's Hi, so nice to meet you. South Africa. Oh, hello, South Africa. Um, Kansas and Sweden. I'm from Michigan. As a French person, I've heard in my childhood, the rooster is our national animal because it's the only animal that sings when it's standing in poop. Anyway, <laughs> I thought it was funny. Thank you for sharing because that was funny. Um, hi from Ontario. Your work is so amazing. Enjoy your scones. Thank you. You're so sweet. Hi from Germany too. Um, I love your art, and wherever you go live, I'm super excited. Whenever you go live, I'm super excited. I'm always very comforted. Oh, That's thank you. Fiddle, Shart, Dingulo. I'm not even, I can't, there's too many. Um, I wish I could draw like you. You're so good. That oh, say hello. Thanks. So I just have successful. a little more practice. That's all. Hello from New York. Incoming hugs from New Jersey. Oh, thank you're you. You're a legend, says Mr. Ducky. Hello from the Netherlands. Oh, hello from Nepal. That's arts less creative. Wait, lean out your window and wave hi to a red panda for me. This is what I think Nepal <laughs> looks like. I think it's trees covered in red pandas and everybody's smiling because they're so cute. Hello from Iceland. That's Iceland. Hungry. And hello from the Netherlands. Hi from the middle of France right now. Oh, have some cheese for me and some wine. Another hello from France. Oh, thank you, Sarah Wilson. Have a wonderful Palestine. meeting. United Arab Emirates, Netherlands. What's your favorite animal so far? So far, I've really, I think the, the manatee has been the cutest. Hi. Donna likes Justin Beaver yep. from Canada. Pakistan, and oh, you guys are having horrid, horrid flooding. I hope you guys are all right over there. 
Um, England, Algeria, wow. Um, how does he make such amazing drawings? I have no idea. Things just appear on the paper. Wasn't Algeria who we were considering with the fennec fox? Correct. Ahoy from Slovakia. Hello from Iraq. Hello. Hi from Louisiana. Today is Malaysia's Independence Day. Oh, nice. Um, I'm French and I, uh, I've heard it because, because British people were making jokes about us telling us we were roosters. And after we took it and said, that's right, we are brave as the roosters. Yeah. <laughs> Philippines. Well, I guess I'm going to have to do some more research <laughs> to get to the bottom of why this rooster is... Um, Ryan says, trying to learn how to write with my left hand, my off hand, my left hand at the moment. Have you tried doing that before? Not since I was a little kid, no. Um, you are... I like you very much. I like my father, brother, and mother. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Um, hi from a new subscriber. That's Manahal. Hello from Morocco. I want to go to Morocco. Hello. Um, I love your art from India. I'm going to give this little rooster a little bit more attitude. Sarah's so sweet. He's Sarah's judging sweet. you. Um, where do you recommend going when looking for references? Oh, I've got a video on that. Um, there's a video on art reference. And uh, so I do Google, but I've also... Uh, put a bunch of my favorite uh, models and mm -hmm. places that I get reference from. Mm -hmm. In uh, the art, is it an art hacks? It's under well, there's the videos under art hacks, the and then resources? and then on the website, it's there's uh, the resources. Yeah, I think it's under resources. Um, um, is this studio? Hey, I've been watching your channel for a bit now. I love your art, especially your color choices. Thank you. Scott, you're so talented. That's happy channel, Jaden. Um, Red Devil Design says, I've been watching this channel for quite a while. So proud to see how far you've come. Thank you very much. It's been pretty incredible. Steel Air says, love your art and always such an inspiration, though I feel inadequate with my art when I look at how quick you are. Oh. No, 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 we're not Don't, doing any yeah. comparison. Just no. remember, first of all, it's not a competition, and second of all, I am using photo reference. I, I worked out the stencil, and I got the font on Photoshop, and, and so everything is plotted out so I can do these very quickly. Mm -hmm. So don't- We built this. Yeah. This is, well, you know, I've, I've been doing this for a while, so I know how to cut corners. And, and that's just with age. age. See where I threw him under the bus there, even though he threw himself under the bus? Like what I did there, slid that in. Hi, oh my God, you're my idol. Do you have any tips for beginner artists? I love your videos, uh, that's Akira. Thank you, Akira, it's very nice to meet you. Our best tip is to draw everything every day. I have never drawn a rooster before, but I'm able to do it because I know how to draw what I see. So I get a photograph and I could draw it. So um, try to not draw everything out of your head. Try to learn to draw what you see. Once you can do that, you'll be able to draw anything. Okay, Amy Reagan says, hi Scott, you're such an inspiration. You've made my dreams come true, and now I can put my ideas onto paper. Oh, thank you so much. That is wonderful. Yeah, I love that. So for real, how hard is it to learn watercolor? Watercolor wasn't that hard, honestly. Learning to draw is the most important thing. So the paints are secondary. It's learning to draw. That's the hard thing. Every, every beautiful painting that you see is beautiful mainly because of the drawing underneath it. Drapido says, a couple of months ago you inspired me to draw some. I didn't like it then. Now I opened my sketchbook again and I think it's pretty good. Thanks. Oh, that's wonderful. I love that you're going back and you're seeing that you Z liked the, it. Z the Zucumber says, question, do you listen to music while you do art? Yeah, yeah. I don't listen to jazz. No. Um, I'm just playing this because uh, it's copyright free. But yeah, I have my own <coughs> favorite music that I listen to. 
When did you start drawing? Like, when did you realize it was something for you? I love your work, keep going. That's the tool. Well, I started drawing when I was like five or six or seven or something, but I didn't take it seriously until high school. I started taking art classes and then you start talking about what you want to do and I wasn't really very good at anything else. So this was kind of it for me. Doing feathers is always so weird. I'm curious, I was curious how you were gonna do that. Um, hello from the Maldives. Hello. I thought, I thought it was a giraffe for a second. That's funny. So funny. Um, Donna, we need Perry the Platypus hat added to the collection. Oh, okay. All right, I'll get on that. Can you name the rooster doodle like cockadoodle doodle? <laughs> That's funny. Um, Hat. Okay. Um, have a nice day from Quebec. Hello from Chicago. Hello. It's not as bad as they make it out to be. Mostly. Mostly. Uh, watching this while cycling. Please don't fall off your bike. Are you a morning person or a night person? Uh, I am a morning person. He's annoyingly so. He used to be a night person. What? I was like 19. Willow says, hi from the middle of an airport. Oh, <laughs> Um, YouTube, let's see. I really want to be an artist super bad just like you. That's Nicole. Keep drawing. Um, so, gosh, so many people everywhere here. Um, let's see. Hello from Hungary. I really love your art, especially your shorts. You Thank made you. You realize that making art is not about making mistakes, quite the opposite. And this inspired me a lot, so thank you. That's Piperin. Oh, absolutely my pleasure. That makes me so happy to hear. Sarah says, not the judgmental rooster. <laughs> He's look. I love that. I'm looking at you. What would you do if you ever screwed up on line art? Oh, I do all the time. I usually just uh, work over it. And if it's so bad, then I will paint over it. And if that doesn't cover it, then I will... Um, We'll throw it away. <laughs> yeah. I, I love the light bulb paper clip. It's adorable. That is Donna's. Yeah. He stole the hair dryer from me. He stole the paper clip from me. You know. I stole her heart too. Yeah. Please don't give that back. <laughs> you can keep it. Um, how do you have so much patience? <laughs> he married me. Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm a great training ground for me. Um, honestly, if you think about it, I mean, in, um, an hour and a half. So, are you done? No, I'm still crying. Donna's still <laughs> laughing at her joke. Let's give her some time. Go ahead. No, I'm no, okay. finish up. No, okay, no, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'm funny. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm good now, You sure? I'm positive. I got, okay. I'm collected now. I'm good. Um. But no, these are these are only an hour and a half. So I really don't have a lot of patience. If I can't get my painting done in an hour and a half, I'm kind of, I get bored of it. So um, for me, it's just finding shortcuts so I could work within my attention span. Uh, Ms. A Perfect Vertigo says, can't help but say, want to sing Alice in Chains Rooster while watching this. <laughs> um, have you tried Googling an animal and noticed the view in 3D button? I'm sorry, the what? Have you tried Googling an animal and noticed the view in 3D button? That's Kim. I, I haven't noticed that. Uh, uh I haven't. Nicole says, big fan of you. I really, really am a big fan. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm glad you put that in because the really, really, because I, I didn't believe you the first time. I got here from the video where you helped a young artist with their drawing space and clicked on your channel, not expecting to get sucked in and love your art. Oh, thank you so much. Um, wow. Ninja says hi from Egypt. Hello. Must go to the pyramids someday. Um, how do you recommend people to get commissions to do art? Um, do oh, I'd like uh, to know how to work on getting commissions. Uh, Commissions is a tough one because you have to build up a body of work and a following of people who like your work. So it's not really something that you're just gonna just jump into. You have to work at 
getting um, followers first. Now you can always do something like Fiverr and sell your work for $5 or something like that, which I don't really recommend, but um, otherwise you really do need to build your audience and that could take years. Unicorn says, I drew a dog for the first time yesterday. Oh, how'd it come out? Um, the animal is a Gallic rooster. Hi from France, we are looking. <laughs> Hi from Croatia. My watercolor is dry like a desert, and water is just slightly picking picking up the pigment. What should I do? That's solar hubs. Well, watercolor is always going to be dry like that. I mean, this watercolor is dry, um, and you just you add a little bit of water, and it should pick it right up. I mean, look at that. So I I don't know what's Maybe the question is, how long has it been dry? Well, before? it doesn't matter. It could be years. It should still pick right up. Um, it, it could be the type of watercolor. Yeah. You know, you might not have the best watercolor. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's just not a good quality watercolor. And maybe it's just not, maybe it doesn't last. Happy National Eat Outside Day. I didn't know there was such a thing, but okay. Um, you're a big inspiration for many people all over the globe, like myself, says Daisy Drive. That is so nice of you to say. I still can't believe yeah. so many of you are mm -hmm. enjoying, here. yeah. Are here, period. <laughs> Diego says, thank you for the information. Oh, sure. Old Audrey Lee says, hi, Scott. I only recently connected you, your YouTube, to the Dreamlight Chronicles. Thanks so much for making the comic that helped uh, me through a very rough time that showed me it's okay to escape in dreams. Oh, thank you so much. That is my favorite thing. And I love the Dreamland Chronicles and want to tell that story again and go back into that world. It does indeed. Um, Diego says, thank you so much from Sri Lanka. First time I saw your art, I subbed. Our national animal is the Sun oh. Jungle Fowl. Oh, nice. Thank you. Um, let's see. Thank you for answering my question. Absolutely my pleasure. Um, I don't speak French, so if you're writing in French or another language, I am just not going to be able to read it. I apologize profusely. Um, hi, Scott. I love your videos. Thank you. Um, let's see. Google a cheetah the view in 3D and then it will ask if you want to see it in your space. Huh, okay, we'll try that. Um, I followed you on Insta. Has he done Canada? Yes, we did Justin Bieber. Yeah, Canada was day three. Like video game journal. Um, no, but uh, it's been recommended a couple times. Questions. Of course. <clears throat> that is why we are here. Down left, it's some egg sold puns. Um, do you guys want to mm -hmm. give Scott me an? We'll not do a tutorial for lettering. Sorry. And yeah, I'm not. So cool. He's tracing that. Oh yeah, yeah. Record. I project it and I trace it. Yes. We celebrated Eat Outside Day a day early. We did indeed. Scott's advice has helped me so much as an artist. That's Yannick. Oh, thank I you. I use watercolor a lot, and I really love your videos. Your channel is definitely one of my favorites. That's Mizuwu. Thank you so much, Mizuwu. Um, Ruru Scarlet says, hello from Indonesia. I found the Kata stream. Thank you for um, um, for doing our beloved Komodo. Oh, it was my pleasure. You really fun to draw. Let's see. Hi from Brazil. I found your channel from YouTube Shorts and I've been watching it ever since. Love your art. Hello, hello. Sergey loves your videos. Thank you. So I had an idea for a an October challenge. Um, similar to like an, a Spooktober or Inktober. And I wanted to run it by you. What do you guys think of... I will write it out. Scott is so good at drawing. I'm planning to make my artwork for all my life. I hope to be at least half as good as him. He inspires me every day. That's gum. 
Oh, thank you. So it's going to be, it's about it. We're going to do 30 days of drawing an octopus celebrating October. And it's going to be called Octo Burr. You realize now I have to learn how to draw an octopus, right? Because I really love octopus. And now I've got to, I've got to learn how to do that. I thought we could draw like an octopus um, drinking a pumpkin spice or diving into um, leaves or celebrating Halloween or carving a pumpkin. So now I just need to design the um, the, uh, the octopus. Um, you should do that in ink too. That would be so cool. That's an amazing idea. I'll be sure to watch your videos. Oh, nay, nay, Penguin King. That means you join in too. Yeah, everybody's got to join everybody's in. Everybody's got to make an octopus. If I have to make an octopus, <laughs> you have to make an octopus. Nixie says, octopus is my favorite animal. I am so in. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'm doing that with you. Great idea. Whoa, so cool. Yes, yay octopus. Do it. That idea seems to be fun. Okay, well, here's my... Definitely really, that idea sounds fun. I've oh, been, you didn't. I was you didn't. roughing out some ideas. Oh, for crying out Trying to come up with the Did shapes. Did you see what I live with? Not sure if you've seen this first, but first light bulb paper clip, second update on Animal Crackers 2. <laughs> <laughs> no, Eric, I didn't see that. So I'm thinking oh, of... Oh, jeez. You got the eyes are gonna be kind of round and you're gonna have this cool little front flap thing. That's kind of where, and I don't know if I'm gonna do a mouth, but then you got this cool little bag thing for the back. And then of course the arms and stuff. You mean but, the body sack? <laughs> Misty Octo MG. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh... Let's not say body sack again. I don't think that's the, well, it's the... It's okay. I'll get the correct term. I love octopuses. They are my favorite animal. I love your videos. Can you draw anime? Somebody just put three octopus little emojis in there. See, I'm not Richard very... Richard says, I'll make octopi. Octopi. More octopus emojis. My favorite animal is an owl. I'm sure once you get the character design done, they'll look really cute. Yeah, I'm just... The I'm... terminology. Sorry. Um, Ray says, hi, Scott and Donna. I'm just a beginner, and your art hacks helped me a lot. Thank you so much was practicing heads, but this stream is more important. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that rooster is staring into my soul and judging me for my sins. Oh, he's it doesn't totally. Looks bad. I think it makes it even better. Hi from France. I love your videos. They always put a smile on my face, which doesn't happen often because of my depression. I love your art. It's so good. Oh, this is hot. That, their name is Hi with a flower. Oh. I think you should draw a smiley face, and I think maybe that will help you. I think you better get ready to make your beret. Oh no, is because it time for the it's beret? Time. It's time. Can you tell my mother this is 10 times more important than doing my laundry? No, Art Splash, I will not say that. You can fold laundry and watch this at the same time. I will. Do you do every stream at the same time? Because I want to know when the next stream is going to be. Yes, Monday, yes. Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. Central Time. And we're debating Saturday night. <laughs> I've already, Bethany says, I've already named my octopus their spouse and given them an entire backstory in my head. <laughs> she has, I've heard the ideas. She All has. right, Donna is up. Oh, octopus, oh my God, you guys. Hey, could I be your friend, says Abigail. Absolutely. Um, yes, Scott's gonna change it from Inktober to October. So that will be our version of Inktober. It'll be that. Hello, you two. Another French friend popping by. I'm adulting, so I'm doing laundry and watching at the same time. Yes, because adults multitask. Okay, I cannot um, read the comments right now because now I have to draw a beret, apparently. Oh my God, help me. October, really, really. You took my last pink post-it and wrote October on it. Okay. Well, it's a blue hat, people. It's October. Sorry. You gotta say Burr. Right. Burr. Whatever. Okay. Um, I I have a beret, but I'm not sure I wait. I did a beret already, didn't I? I thought I did that already. Nope, I didn't actually. I was gonna do the beret, but I didn't. Now, Make do it, I do the beret with the little beanie on? Yeah. No, I want to do that one. Make okay. It a raspberry right. beret. Oh I my. Find it a second hand store. 
I am, I, you know what? There was a line that just came to my mind from that song that I am not going to repeat. Um, yes, love me some Prince, but no. Wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it. Beret. <laughs> Scott's not seeing it. <laughs> I, I'm funny this morning. I don't know what's going on, but I'm laughing at all my own jokes. So we're going to go with that. Okay, keep in mind, I can't see the comments. I can't see the comments. It's, you guys move too fast. It's hard enough on the computer. Yeah, hold on. Oh my God, this is so funny. I'm cracking myself up. <laughs> A beret. Uh, get it? It goes with the October theme. Come on. Cut me a little slack here, people. I'm trying to be funny. Okay. <laughs> well I, honest to God, I cracked myself up. <laughs> I don't know why I'm cracking myself up this morning. <laughs> I hey, look, I don't make the rules up. I just crack myself up apparently. <laughs> oh God, that's funny. I am funny. Okay, I did the one that I thought was cuter. Look, and then look what I did. Beret. <laughs> Should have been a little smaller. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, bro. Thank Ray. you, dear. Come on. That was funny. Get it? Yeah. See, he doesn't laugh at me like I laugh at him. Because you do the, enough laughing for both of us. It's funny, though. Come on, man. Come on. Arlen's wagging her tail. She thinks I'm funny. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. All right, let me get this don't camera up. Don't forget the baguette. Oh, darn, I should have done a baguette. I can just picture Scott's expression right now. Oh, he is just rolling his eyes at me, you guys. Great, now he's more, more judgmental this time at my art. <laughs> oh, Donna is that one person to laugh before they can get the joke out. That is true. That is very true. You guys crack me up, love your content. Thomas Giggles are giving me life. Ellen, I swear, just be prepared to like spit your drink out like constantly when you're around me. That's just what we do. Yeah. Um, Chonk is is here and says, hi Scott, hi Donna, hi Mods, how are you all today? You're good, hi Well, Chunk. I'm just cracking myself up, so I'm yeah. good. Scott, what's your favorite animal and why? I like the cheetah. I don't know why. I like big cats. But I think I like the, the, that he's. I think also cheetahs purr too, which I like. Donna's got tipsy ant vibes this morning. <laughs> I haven't had anything. She's been dipping in the sherry. I don't know what I've been doing. I really want to open the pork, but that's another story. I'm getting a commission done for my beardy. Yay! Uh, Luchi went to France two weeks ago. Oh, fun. Oh my god. Gaming Requiem, ban them from the server. What? They said, with respect, are you Mr. Scott's mother? Uh. <laughs> no, I'm his wife. Oh, my God. Ugh. The rooster coloring page apparently is on the website for download because Bethany's on top of things this morning. Cheetahs purr and chirp like a bird, actually, says Evolution. Yeah. Uh, Daisy Dross is asking a loaded question and wants to know what your favorite country is. My favorite country? I... I... I really want to visit more, um, you know, because the grass is always greener. I'm not really uh, happy with where I'm currently living in the U.S., so we'll see. <coughs> Any tips on getting paint to dry faster? Hello, the hair dryer. Blow dryer, yeah. Oh, what, wait, what? Yes, ma'am. Oh, one camera's in the way of the other one. Oh, it's in the corner. I see it. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Okay, bye. 
And that, folks, is why I need mods. <laughs> Myself up and I can't yeah, honey, you might not, need to go take a time out. I really might need to take a time out. Yeah, no, I'm still in the very, very corner there. Hey, I don't see anything. Oh, wait, is my thing behind? I'm lagging. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I see it now. Hold on. There it goes. Now it's out of the picture. Okay, you're good now. All right, sorry. Excuse our momentary, uh, thing there. Oh my god. Okay, hold on a second. Emily won a trivia last night by answering correctly the National Animal of Canada all thanks to the series. <laughs> <of your studio. laughs> that's great. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, Congratulations. Oh, Kim, if you're still listening, have a good meeting. Oh gosh, okay. Um, I cannot read anything that is not in English. I'm sorry, I don't read in other languages. Your laugh is like a mixture of contagious laugh and evil laugh. Indeed. It's a cackle, people. It's a witch's cackle. And yet, here you are, almost 30 years later. Oh God, it cracks me up. <laughs> Quietly appreciate Donna when she's not looking. <laughs> Scott, you're the best. You make me debate if art's worth it because I can't draw like you. <laughs> no, Art no, is totally no, worth no. it. I can't draw like the people I want to draw like. I was telling my mom about you earlier today in this challenge, and I said, if he does France, he'll draw the rooster, and now you're doing it. I can't wait to show him the final result. <laughs> Blow dryer. less water just use less water and work on the other sections while that section is worse like I would do the yellow do all the yellow parts and then just stay away from any parts that are gonna touch okay now I have a question why did you use that pink for his waddle and the the things on the top of his head so this pink it looks more red to me than pink. Yeah, well, as soon as I add some shading to it, it's going to oh, get a okay, little darker. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe you should show everybody the photo reference, because I don't think they've seen the photo reference yet today. I'm just throwing that out there, because, I don't know. What came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> <laughs> or the egg or the rooster, that's funny. Um... What do you do before making an important decision? That's Rose Lenya. Um, I usually plot out all the possibilities of what the outcome is gonna be. So I play out in my head, okay, if I do this, then this could happen, this could happen, this could happen. So the pros and the cons, and I usually weigh that, those things out. I'm usually pretty good at it. The experience gives you the ability to kind of see into the future a little bit. And boy, does he think about everything, well, let me tell you. We're gonna take a trip. Okay, let me come up with every possible thing that could go wrong. Oh, Nixie's got the coloring page on the Discord. Nice. You guys are properly caffeinated this morning. Wow. Tips for beginners starting an art business. Ooh, an art business. Mm -hmm. Um. Again, oh, thank you again, Sarah. Sarah says, don't try to draw like Scott because only Scott can draw like Scott and only you can draw like you, which is what the world needs more of. Exactly. Well said, Sarah. Well said. I love that. Very well said. So tips on the art business, honey. Tips on the art business. Um, my tips would be 
find like I said earlier was find your find your audience find the find the weird people that like your art. Yeah, they don't get much weirder than me though. Um, does it feel like you're in the book when you're in the hobbit hole? Um, no, no, there's too many computers and TV screens and I don't know if you face the fireplace, evil Knievel toys and if you face the fireplace and you turn on the fireplace and you have a cup of tea in your hand, it kind of blow dryer. <laughs> few. Um, Alphonse Mucha, Drew Struzan, John Buscema, Maxfield Parrish. I mean, there's so many artists that I look up to. It's not just one. Um, Laura is, says, hi from Spain. I really love your art and you have motivated me to draw again after a long time and not stress about drawing exactly how I imagined. So thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah, and learning to let go <clears throat> and yeah. just Enjoy the process. Enjoy the process, or just be okay with where you are in that day. Like, the, some some days, the, the the art just doesn't want to do what you want it to do, and you kind of have to go okay and let it go. Um, Steph nerd in regard to my cackle says Scott, which is getting ready for witch season. <laughs> um, let's see. There are so many colors on this rooster. All right, so I'm doing all of my lightest colors. So that's the pink, the yellow, and the baby blue. Then I'm gonna come in with the darker colors, the darker blues, the reds, the, the purples, and whatnot. So just so you guys know what I'm doing. Here's the photo reference. Okay. Scott, how is your mood right now? Tired or having fun? Um, my mood is, uh, I am annoyed with me. <laughs> some, yeah, some days Donna's a little <laughs> annoying. Some days she just, but, um, but no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I think I'm just more focused on the painting. Well, you were concerned before about the feathers. When he was talking about what he's going to do, he was a little concerned about the feathers. So perhaps that has something to do with it. When you merge Donna's cackle with mine, you need to stand back and take cover. Things are about to get interesting, says Bethany. That is a very true statement. Um, what was your first art project and could you maybe show us later? That's Penguin King. Um, yeah, I, uh, I don't know about project, but yeah, I have some of my earlier drawings. Yeah, the there's a video on all of his earlier drawings up until currently. Yeah. So you can look at that video and that will give you a really It's in good the playlist idea. of not a short or over three, over a minute or something like that. You'll see it there. Yeah. Um, Scott, if money was out of the equation and you could move anywhere in the world, where would it be? Well, see, that's the thing. Like I said, I don't know because I haven't been to too many places. So what I would want to do is go and live in a couple places. See, this is why I would probably need to be at least three, 400 years old, because I would want to go and spend a year or something in different places and learn the cultures. And I'd love to be able to learn the different languages too. But I think that would be amazing. Sometimes I, I, I just wish that something like that was possible because, you know, we only know where we're born and where we grow up. It's great to travel, though, because you see the world. I don't like the process places. of travel, though. That's the thing. I don't like traveling. Um, you I want just, to see everything, but you don't like traveling. Yeah, I don't like traveling. I don't like the, the process of getting there. Oh, irony, Gus. Irony. Totally not, Mark. Says, incredibly, incredible talent, man. Thanks for being Ireland. 
Do you have any plans to continue this past 30 days? This is my favorite TikTok series. Oh, thanks. No, I don't think I do. I think I'm, I'm I get bored. I mean, as I get into the, the to the 20s, I start to go, okay, when is this over? And and while I enjoy it, I do want to. I'm already thinking of the next thing, you know, it's the October. October. But uh, I, I, that doesn't mean I won't pick it back up again another another time. Like I can always do. Like I might do another 60 days of studying the masters, or maybe 30 days of studying the masters, or something. Did you show the reference? Yes. Okay. Blow dryer. Now there's a big blob of water right there. Can you see that? So that might blow. So I got to be very careful or ready with the uh, paper towel. Well, I didn't, um, I can't say I really like read, read them. I would just look at what I needed, uh, Adam. So I just kind of refer to them. Like if I'm having a hard time with drawing noses, I'll look at the part where they talk about drawing noses and, and so on. So that's at least how I, how I look at it. And I think a lot of the times the best thing you can do is just copy what you see, copy their drawings and see how close you can get it to what they're doing. And that sometimes helps you, like they say, um, fake it till you make it. So keep keep copying it until you start drawing like that. How do you blend watercolors? Because when I do, it becomes brown. Um, well, there's you have to work with watercolors. You have to work light to dark. So if your colors are becoming brown, it's because you're probably going dark to light. And so that's why, you remember you saw, I did this very light yellow, and now I'm coming over it with a little bit of red. But, but had I gone over, in between. had I, well, yeah, had I gone red first and then put the yellow over, it would have just been a, a little bit lighter or a little bit muddier red. Do you prefer hot press or cold press for sketching? Uh, for sketching, I like cold press or hot press because it's smooth. But uh, I use cold press for watercolor because I like the texture. And then I use hot press for um, gouache. Um, so I like the lack of texture. This is a Gallic rooster from France. Scott, I can draw heads from an angle using the Lumos method, but I can't draw it from straight, straight on or up and down. What do I do? It's just practice, honestly. You have to start seeing, um, when, we, when we start drawing, we just draw eyes, nose, mouth, etc. We're not seeing the shape. Um, you, you have to start seeing the shape of the head. I did a, there was a, somebody on, on our, um, here, let me stop this recording. There was someone on, on our Discord yesterday who was having the same problem and they were having a problem because the head was tilted down. And honestly, it's just a matter of, you have to be able to see, draw that circle, this is your sphere, and then this is where your eyes are gonna go. This is where your ears are gonna go, the back of the head, et cetera, et cetera. And then if you were to draw that same one looking up, you start with that sphere. And there you go. 
So you, you, you need to get used to seeing, there's your eyes here. You need to get used to seeing that shape so you can start drawing everything at different angles. You can do profiles, you start with that circle. Here's your ears, here's your nose, your eyes right here. See what I'm saying? So if you're so used to going eye, eye, nose, mouth on a flat space, and then maybe you could do a profile too, you're not gonna know how it fits in a three-dimensional space. And, and faces are very rarely 100% exactly staring right at you. So, you know, you might get a face that is just a little bit off to the side, and so you're gonna get a little bit more nose over here and a little bit more cheek over there, et cetera, et cetera. A little bit more ear here, a little less ear there. That's what you gotta start practicing is the three-dimensionality of it. Start to see it in a three-dimensional space. And to do that, you gotta just draw heads. And just draw heads, you don't need to worry about the details. Don't worry about the eyes and nose. Just, just put that line where the eyes and nose are gonna go and just keep drawing heads and heads and heads from all different angles. And that'll help you. What's your favorite movie? Not the Animal Crackers, LOL, it's really good though. <laughs> Thanks. It is uh, The Princess Bride. He says, bonjour, Scott and Donna. Bonjour. He has not tried coffee painting. We need to appreciate the mods more. Thanks for helping out here, guys. We love you. Yes, we do. They are wonderful. Oh, hold on, um, a little bit of blow dryer real quick. <laughs> the blue is trying to bleed into the yellow. Chest dropped in the red flappy thingies look good, LOL. Oh, sh thanks. Having a little trouble with inking, says Amara. Oh no. What exactly are you having trouble with? One artist I like says that all objects around him are cylinders, lol. That's Sarah. Yeah, I mean, you can break everything down to cylinders and spheres. And um, like I said, I, I did a video where I basically look at when I'm doing outside stuff, you know, like uh, buildings and stuff, I look at everything as, as um, Legos. And that's another thing you do. But the simpler you can break stuff down into shapes, the easier it'll be for you to see it. Um, Bees Art says, hello. This is the first live of yours I'm watching. Oh, well, welcome. So nice to have you here. Um, Kushi says, do you get bored of doing the same thing every day? I do. I do, which is why I change it up. You know, I was doing hair before this. Oh, and we start the recording. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Steph Nerd. But, you know, now I'm doing animals, and then I'm, just, I'm already getting bored of animals, so I'm gonna you know, do other things. But, I, you know, I also am painting um, stuff on the side for myself and for fun, and... Um, Caitlin, Scott has a video on Proportions. It's one with a Lego in it, and it's in the art house. No, playlist. the proportions one yeah. for humans is not Legos. I thought that was no, it's it's the one with uh, how to draw comics the Marvel way. Ah, there you go. Okay. Well, is, is it in the art hacks playlist? Yeah. Okay. Try the art hacks playlist. <clears throat> Did he draw the lines with pencil and then pen, or no pen at all, and just painting on top of it? Oh pencil. gosh, no. Um, well, you can see the pen, uh, but no, it's always pencils first. Blow dryer. Favorite animal is a cheetah. 
The hair dryer he stole from me. It is not a specific hair dryer. I had to buy a new one. We bought it on Amazon and it was here the next day. Um, being on an airplane is like being in a giant metal tube. We do not get recognized in public. Yes, the light bulb paperclip is adorable. We love those. Um, Scott has been burnt out. There is a video on how to keep motivated when doing art. That's also in the Art Hacks playlist. Robin is laughing at Scott wants to travel without the travel part. Um, Wouldn't it be so cool to just so, open up your door and just be in a different area, like like the TARDIS kind of thing? That would be really somebody cool. Somebody just said Scott needs a TARDIS. I do. Yes, yes, he does. Okay, I have several people who would like to know uh, reasonably priced watercolors and uh, sketchbooks and pencils to try. Um, uh, I have uh, an art supply list, mm -hmm. and in the there you will see stuff like the Cotman, which is the student brand, mm -hmm. um, and you'll see the Canson, which is more of the the, the more affordable brand. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that I would recommend. Mm -hmm. There are cheaper stuff that I have been doing product testing. If you want to try those out, if you go to the product testing section, mm -hmm. um, I am still talking to several other companies about trying to get even cheaper, mm -hmm. you know, beginner kind of kits. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll, we'll see, I'm, I'm working on trying to find you guys the cheapest, good quality stuff. That's really hard, because I'm using professional Windsor & Newton and 100% cotton paper, but I try to use as much of the, like, a, like Crayola stuff as, you know, like mm -hmm. we have a bunch of Crayola stuff. So I'm trying to give you guys the most well-rounded um, reviews on this stuff to use. But the ones I recommend are in my art supply list. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to find those there. And as what we're going to do too is we're going to, I think, split the list of things that are professional and things that now, are... Now, Beth and I, we, Bethany and I, we kind of talked about that. I think we, we on, my, on my art supply list, mm -hmm. Everything is what I'm already using. Right. Um, but I think on the product testing, we might do that. Okay. Well, look, so look for that because the, um, we're going to put everything in there and you'll be able to see it. Also, some things you might not be able to get in your countries. Um, so we're noticing that with some people that they just can't find certain supplies in, um, in their country so and we are doing our best especially we know india you guys are having a hard time we're doing our best to get some supplies um to be available there that are reasonably priced um, let's see where are we <clears throat> he made a better head in 10 seconds than i could ever make you guys he's got 50 years of experience please don't yeah, ever... don't say don't say that you could ever make just yeah, just not right now just just you keep trying, that's the goal. Um, he has not tried painting with coffee. There is no correct way to hold your pencil. If somebody yeah, there's a video there on is. that too. Good Lord, don't listen to that. Yeah, there's a video on the correct way to hold your pencil. Um, <clears throat> he uses the Windsor and Newton travel watercolor set and he does use the professional one. The Cotman one is the student one. Are there any mediums you have not tried that you would like to try? I'd like to sculpt one day. I think that would be a lot of fun. I would like the next challenge to focus on sports, starting with ice hockey. And what's the name of the flower that is in the background? Good question. Oh, I think it's a lily. I think that's the official. Can you make a video on how to recognize color in black and white paintings? That is a very interesting question. Mm -hmm. But I do understand what they're asking because I see you in different paintings and you pick out different colors. And when you- when But they're saying say, in a black and white painting. Right, but there's there's shades of gray and there's, when you look at a black and white painting or you look at- You mean at a photo, black, like a black and white photo. Right, you see shadows, you see purples and you see blues and you see gray scales in certain paintings. Yeah. And in shadows and things like that. So maybe you could do something. I still think you need to talk about shadows. You need to do a video on shadows and how to recognize those those different colors within a photo reference, I think would be helpful to people. Um, 
the noodles are soggy. <laughs> <laughs> says hi and is it evening or morning there and the question was answered but it's morning for me blow dryer <laughs> all right a little bit of purple and we will be done with the rooster Ever tried White Knight's watercolor? They are so good and cheap too. I have not. We I don't think I've ever heard of that. Um, as a French person, it's wonderful. Do oh, you use the you. warm setting or the cold setting for the blow dryer? The hottest setting I can. I'm always wondering how he comes up with such wonderful art. Do you plan them out? No. Well, I mean, the whole series was planned out. That's why I made the stencil and 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 I try to do everything within the same. Um, framework and everything like that. So that helps me do these quickly. Um, Gaming Red Queen, he uses the zebra brush pen. Um, as our mods told you, it is a waterproof pen. And we get them on jetpens.com. You may have a different version of that or a different thing that you can get in your country. Everybody's like, thank you, Mr. Clock. And this here, she says, thank you, Mr. Clock. Um, so let's see. Sophia, um, Emma put the times of the thing in there. All right, and blow dryer. You guys put it <laughs> So the question is blue background or red background? I think the, mm, I think the blue would almost blend in with the, uh, the flowers on the, on the chest. Who's your favorite superhero? Uh, Spider-Man. Marvel or DC? Marvel. <clears throat> Do you like painting fish? Um, I, sometimes I do it just for the halibut. Cute. Wow, those dad jokes are coming in handy. Um, I noticed I didn't laugh there. Not, not so funny. Um, your art tips have helped me so much over the last months. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with everyone. My pleasure. Do you have any experience with manga? Um, yeah, yeah. I used to be influenced by it for a little bit. to go to fine art school so what tips do you have about time management i am getting pretty decent at drawing things but not quick enough well i think some of that is problem solving you have to see where you're uh where you're spending your most time like some people will spend most of their time just trying to come up with an idea uh, others will spend a lot of their time just redrawing and redrawing um, can photo reference help out uh, what can you do about that? Um, is, is tracing a possibility for your work? Um, are, are there other materials that might be a little more expensive, but that'll speed up your process? These are the things that you, you have to figure out. Lots of times it's, it's not time management in the way that, um, you say, well, I'm just slow. It's not that it's that, well, this part takes a long time and this part takes a long time. How do I speed that up? And that's really what it is. So that's how I'm able to do these in an hour and a half is I've learned, okay, this takes this long, this takes this long. Um, I need to do this, 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 you know, th that's it. Like I would spend a lot of time on the lettering. So I just do the lettering in Photoshop each morning and then I project it onto the page and I trace it. And that saves me 20 minutes of trying to get the lettering right. Because his lettering stinks. It, it does. It stinks even after I've traced it. 
Um, e says, I'm following your challenge of redesigning works of art for a month, and I'm learning a lot. Thanks. Oh, that's great. Um, yes, he has already done India. Can you do, when you're done, let's do a we'll flip We'll do a flip through. through. Yeah, yeah, India was day two. Um, let's see. Lots of French people love what you're doing. Oh, thank you. Why do so many artists hate the watercolor palettes? I don't know. I don't know. Have you tried a motorsports theme painting, and will you? I don't know if I will. I mean, I, I'm i not a fan of drawing cars. Uh, I do it when I have to, but sometimes I might do a challenge just because it's something I don't like to do. Um, but maybe it'll be a shorter challenge. Have you ever tried the Windsor & Newton watercolor tubes under the Cotman brand? I haven't tried the tubes. I've only tried the, the, the pans on the Cotman side, and they were fine. I did a video comparing the two, and I thought they were fine. <clears throat> Are there any mediums you have not tried that you would like to? Uh, yeah, you asked that, uh, but it okay, was um, sculpting. Okay, hold on. Let me go down here. My favorite part is when you outline your drawing. It makes it pop so well. Yeah. All right, blow dryer. Is a weird your the lily is a weird purplish blue so I just need to um what series do you think you'll do next will you be able to continue the umbrella academy sketchbook I would love to see that um, I would love to see Lila yeah I think I will I think I like having stuff like that that I could just go to whenever I just in the mood to Pop paint in. yeah mm -hmm. so I like that um I I, uh, I think the next series I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna do um, October. Um, what do you do when trying a new medium or a new art style? Love your work, and this is my first live with you. That's easy. I think when I when I try a new medium or art style, I'm always comparing it to the um, you know my my favorite stuff, which I I don't think is fair, but I think it's the only way that you can judge stuff is by looking at um, what you what what you know um, hold on blow dryer <laughs> Um, this this size, which is five and a half by eight. It's about an A5 size. Um, the best Hufflepuff wants to know why the blow dryer, just curious. Uh, otherwise we're watching paint dry. And so this speeds it up and lets me finish the paintings in a, in a decent amount of time. All right. Oh, this is why the Overwatch League Paris team has a rooster for their mascot. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? The Princess Bride. They want you to paint the dragons in the new HBO series House of Dragon. Loud groans at the pun, but laughter from the dads. Oh, 
Lula says, haha, I see what you did there, Scott. Glad you didn't flounder on that one. <laughs> Bravo, Lula. Love the idea of splitting the professional versus the more cost conscious. Thank you. About splitting the art supplies. Um, which medium it makes your work finish faster? Uh, the watercolors is the quickest medium. I mean, other than just ink or pencil, really. Pencil's the quickest. Have you ever tried the glass pen? It's fun to doodle with inks. Uh, I did, didn't really like it that much, but uh, Donna has used one before. I love the glass dip pen. I prefer to try different uh, inks with that. I missed a little blue spot. I'm the worst. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Um, let's see. Thought of making another movie. Ah! Yeah. Oh my God, so many thoughts on making another film. We've been talking about it and talking to the cast and maybe doing a sequel, but I've got so many other stories that I've written, um, so. We may have some news on that very shortly. Oh, that I would have news on that very shortly. <laughs> yes, how are our mods this morning? Good question. Are the questions from another social platform? Uh, no, I'm reading all the questions here out of the chat. Blow dryer. <laughs> Supposed to. Yeah, we were to work on a film, but we did not. Um, what is both of your favorite colors? Scott is Payne's gray and mine is cobalt blue. Blow dryer. <laughs> in the chat, like directly to the resource list so people can check that out. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, Scott's favorite animal he's painted so far was the manatee. Good question is, when do you use your 005 fine liner, like the teeny teeny one? I will only use that, um, well, I mean, obviously if something is just very, very fine, but usually I use that when I travel for objects in the distance mm -hmm. to give it a feeling of being further away. So the, the thinner lines, the finer <laughs> lines give it that sense of distance. We have not been to Iran and yes, we would like to visit. Scott's grandparents came directly from Iran and he would like to see it there. Uh, he does like gaming and he plays Overwatch. And currently, what are you playing now? Starcraft? Oh, uh, Starcraft and Overwatch, yeah. yeah. Donna, what's your favorite style of art? I don't know what you would call that style. You know that, remember that painting we saw down at the Hunter Museum? The one with the tea that was done in oils? What kind of art style is that? I don't even remember. You know, the painting that I liked. I don't know what kind of art style that is. Um, that's a good question. I do like a specific kind of style. Let me, hold on. That's a really good question. Um, This one, this painting. Yeah, I don't know if that's impressionist or. I don't know. Maybe that's a good question. Yeah, you can look. They might have an explanation later on, but yeah, you don't need to look right. now. Yeah, I'll look 
later. Um, let's see. What do you do when you finish your 30 days is there's extra paper in the back of the sketchbook. Do you start a new one with a new series or just start the next series in the same book? No, the reason why I picked 30 days was because there was 30 pages. Mm -hmm. But I tore one out, so I'm gonna actually have to do an extra page uh, separately. Okay, this person cannot get eyelashes correctly. Do you have any tips? When I doodle, my go-to thing to draw her eyes, but I can't quite get the lashes right. Any tips? Um, there should be a little bit of tips on the how to draw eyes video, but essentially I try not to draw each individual lash. You try to just draw a shape. So if you're gonna do eyes, right? I go like this. And every once in a while you might do something like that. And then there's always a gap um, there. But see, if I was to draw individual lashes, it looks weird. So it's just better to just do a shape like that. And then you can always add a couple little wispies like that. I am using Windsor and Newton, and the exact colors I am using are in my uh, art supply list. Ah, Bellatrix Lestrange. Bethany Primrose is your oil, resident oil guru. How many animals remain to sketch? This is 23, so seven more. Um, we have done India. Scott will do a draw. Um, yeah, uh, India was day two, mm -hmm. and I will Down do a flip like through. Do you ever paint more natural things like landscapes? I do. Um, <clears throat> and can you tell us what brushes you're using right now? Right now I am using the uh, Etcher Labs watercolor uh, brushes, which I, I guess at some point I'm gonna have to do a, a review on them. You are. Because you've been using them, this so white I think is you've got far for a review. In what order do you choose the countries? I don't. Here's how it works. What do I feel like drawing this morning? And then he picks something. Yeah. Literally, do I want to do fur? Do I want to do feathers? Do I want to do this? I'm an honest to God people. He does not pick ahead of time. Um, what is your opinion on social media influence on youth? Um, I think it can be used for a very good thing. Uh, I love the idea that um, as a Gen X 53 year old, I am learning about uh, they, them, and pansexual, and transgender, and I get to meet people and interact with them. Mm -hmm. I think it, it brings people closer, and it, it lets you see the diversity in the world. Of course it can be weaponized, of course it can, but I think, um, it makes the world smaller, which which keeps people out of their echo chambers. So I, I like to think of it as, as a good thing. No, no, but I've painted him a few times. Yeah. Uh, what am I drinking this morning? Good question. Oh, the Black Box. Uh, the Master Berries Master Blend Tea is what I am drinking this morning. Um, because for some reason, I am very tired. Um, so I need a little pick-me-up there. Let's see. 
how should I approach realism? I want to learn it, but I can't get anything right. Do you have any tips? Well, realism is probably the easiest thing to do because you just need to look at a photograph and copy it exactly. Um, not much of a challenge, just practice and time. Uh, that's really all it is. It, it's, it's a very, very, um, you don't need any special skills to do realism. It's when you start pushing yourself outside of realism that it gets more tricky. But uh, just get a photograph, uh, do the grid method or trace, and boom, you have realism. I'm not saying that to in any way put it down. I did it for years. It's just, um, everybody has a camera now, so it seems kind of redundant to do something that a camera could do instantly. So, um, but it's if it's something that you wanna just learn, you wanna just teach yourself, like I said, I would definitely recommend the grid method or tracing. Thank you. Thanks for answering questions. He does not know any Farsi. Do you ever change your art style or do you try to keep it consistent? Um, I, I change it a lot um, based on the medium that I'm using. Do you work on multiple sketchbooks at once or at a time? Um, I guess I'm working on multiple ones. I have this one. I have the, um, the Umbrella Academy one. Uh, I have, I mean, I, I wouldn't really say I'm working in the stone one. I was just testing it out. So I don't think I'm really going to be doing much more in it. Um, I have my travel journal, which is right here. And then I have my, um, just like doodle sketchbook that I'll use. Okay, so someone wanted to flip through. Let's do a yes. flip through. Um, they also want a tutorial for micron pens. Okay. Scotland, India, Canada, Mexico, Cape Verde, Iran. New Zealand, Peru, Pakistan, Australia, Wales, South Africa. Hey, Austin Santa's here. here. Thank you, Santa. Japan, Brazil. Everybody go say hi to Santa. Italy. Give Santa some love. Sweden. Indonesia. Democratic Republic of Congo. Yeah. Ukraine. Chile. Yeah. Philippines. Ireland. And France, ooh, I forgot the little outlines on here. Sorry, you're having problems. Yeah. Um, you're so talented. Your art inspires me so much. Thank you very much. Which one is your favorite? I still like uh, the manatee, you Cape color Verde. Color all your work. Color it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, I did do a hat today. It was a beret. A little big, but let's put it on him. Very good. Scott has done digital art in the past, but we have a Wacom tablet now that we purchased and he will be doing that um, in the future. <laughs> Is that how you're supposed to pronounce Ireland? Did you name the animals after you draw them? What would you name the rooster? I 
don't know. We did name mm -hmm. Canada's Justin Beaver. We did. Um, and the bunny. Oh yeah, uh, Elizabeth Bunnett. Har Harriet. Bunnett. Oh, Harriet Bunnett. That's Harriet right. Bunnett. Harriet Bunnett. Everybody said hi to Santa. You guys are so cute. Um, sounded like a very unenthusiastic okay when you mentioned micron buns. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I was just thinking of what, what I could say. I, I don't use them that much. I only use just that one. My, I was just thinking my friend Frank Cho really does microns very well. Mm -hmm. I'm missing the bow tie, lost. honey. What? Missing the bow tie. It's gotta be there. No, it's not. All right. We lost the bow tie. Ah, Impressionism. That's the painting. It's been driving me crazy. You mentioned wanting to sculpt. Which medium do you feel like you'd like to try? Clay, welding, wood? Oh, definitely clay. Yeah, we have a son who welds, so we're gonna steer clear of that. One potential death in the family from a hot welding thing is enough. Uh, sunset or sunrise? Sunrise. And what are you wearing today? I'm wearing my Speed Racer Mach 5 t-shirts and, and um, sweats. Sweatpants. What would you call your current art style? I don't know. It's a combination of comic books and movie poster art and Art Nouveau. I don't know if it's a style in general. It's just, you know, it's like when you get dressed um, if you're dressing up or whatever, I don't think you could say this is my style. This is just the clothes that I like. These are just the clothes that I, you know, wear. Um, some people are very uh, strict about the kind of art style that they do or the kind of music that they listen to or whatever. Like I, I am an impressionist or I like rock and roll or, or jazz or whatever, but I think the best kind of stuff is stuff that is a combination of many different influences. Um, thank you for that. I am, Donna is gifted in unboxing. She needs unboxing so we can Yeah, <laughs> she does. I just think it's so sweet that people send us things and it just really touches my heart. And Beekeeper is very sweet and wants to see my art. I do not do art. I have a travel journal like Scott does. I actually realize I have multiple journals. I have a tea journal where I actually just paste like the different labels of tea that I've tried in there. And I have a potential, like a possibilities journal places we want to travel. And I have a few other journals that I keep, but I don't specifically do art, like I don't draw. Um, would you try polymer or air drying clay? Well, that's, that's, that's where I start to, to lose, lose um, not interest, but lose speed is I don't know. I want to be able to work in clay, but I don't want it to just dry up and crack. And so I, I, I think for me, the best thing would be to work with somebody who knows what materials to use to where it could become, whether they can make a mold of it or, or whatever. I don't know if I would want to get into the whole mold making. So I just think I would like to sculpt, hand it to somebody and then they can make molds of it. But I also have been toying around the idea of just doing reliefs, which I think would be really fun. So it's on a flat su subject and it's just the stuff is kind of coming out, but I just need to know how, I just need to know the materials. Okay, do you like Australia? Well, yeah, except your huntsman spiders. But we've never been, so we'd love Yeah, them. we would love Australia. Uh, he doesn't remember which hats are for which. No. He I just don't. puts them on. Uh, any tips for layering watercolors? Yes, go light to dark. And there's two techniques. There is cold, uh, wet on wet, and then there's wet on dry. I do wet on dry. So I dry it and then I do the next layer and then I dry it and I do the next layer. Wet on wet will have the waters, have the colors just really blend in together. Santa says reindeer are the national animal of the Arctic North Kingdom. Can we make that official? Cause I would love to do that, Santa. Um, little Gray Cells has an interesting question. Do you have any regrets regarding your professional art career? 
Buddy. Sorry, the dog's coughing. Um, yeah, I wish I could go back and uh, convince myself to draw what I see rather than out of my head because I spent probably my entire teenage and a lot of my 20s just drawing out of my head. And um, I think I wasted a lot of time doing that. And then I also would love if I, in college, I would have been able to stick with painting rather than sticking with colored pencils for so long. All right, well, it has been 95 minutes. So I am gonna go, Donna's gonna make some scones today. I am, I'm gonna make scones And uh, Yes, we do have a dog. Um, we like all animals, but um, I'm also allergic to cats, so we can't have a cat. Yes. So everybody have a wonderful day. I will see you, we will see you on Friday. Are the flowers on the page the country's flower? Yes, I think they're lilies of some sort. Just come so good. What has been your favorite animal to draw in this series? It has been the... We should eat the scones outside for National Eat Outside Day. We should, we should go out on the porch and eat the scones outside. It's been the manatee. So I actually really like uh, how Indonesia's um, the name of it again. Komodo Dragon came out. Thank you. This was another illuminating session on painting. Oh, thank you. Bye, I gotta go. Well, it was we'll see you guys very on. nice speaking to you all. Have Friday. a wonderful day. Yeah. Have a wonderful Wednesday. And we will see you guys later. <laughs>